Hi guys, welcome to Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. Finally, finally the wind has gone. Uh, we have got a little bit of rain today but it's still as you like. We're out at Crummock Water, so you can see there we've got a little bit of rain falling and there is just a little tiny breath of wind giving us some ripples on the water. Um, you can also see in the background we do have a little bit of snow up a height as well. So yeah, the weather forecast is pretty good. We've got forecast 7 mile an hour winds with maybe 10 mile an hour gusts tonight. But in the morning we are going to have around about 50 mile an hour winds with up to 40 mile an hour gusts and some rainfall. So at the moment we're out to Crummock Water and we're heading up at Ranadale Knots. So if I spin you around, we've got a visitor in background. Yes I Mr. Ad <laughs> Adam in Wild joined us for this one. Yippee! Yeah, so really looking forward to this. So yeah, me and Adam have booked Friday uh, off work and we were supposed to be going down to Wales. We were supposed to be meeting up with uh, Daz Durain, uh, Die Camping Wild Dragon, um, Nicholas Romans. Boys in the Wood. Boys in the Wood. But unfortunately with, <laughs> with Storm Eunice, there was just no sense in trying to go out in that. So. Yeah, we've decided to come out for a camp. So if I just angle you up a bit, that's where we're going, Ranadale Knots. It's been a while since I've been out, so picked a nice uh, little one. Although, as usual, with my luck, it'll be a steep one. The little ones always are. So, yeah, we'll crack on um, and I'll hopefully get you some nice footage along the way. So, yeah, we're just up the first little bit of a walk and that's where we're heading for the night. Not too high. I think it's third smallest Wayne, right, or something like that. But I'll just spin you down. You can just see we haven't come up very far at all. But um, look at the mountains in the background with the low lying mist and snow. And then the views over Crummock Water. We've got Mel Break there. And then spin you around. We are getting some lovely reflections. Even though there is a little ripple on the uh, lake, it's still giving a good reflection. And there we go, in the centre of shot there is Red Pike, where I've camped before. Beautiful up there, I'd highly recommend that to anyone. And then, just looking down towards Fleetwith Pike, and haystacks down the bottom of the valley there. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, myself and Adam are just at that first little bit I've just showed you around, and we're just taking it all in. You're loving this, aren't you? Mate, it's uh, big time, big time. It's it's a bit of a longer drive up to the lakes, but it's just worth every, sec every second of it because we're, we're not ever a quarter way up, are we? No. And look at it. It's magnificent, isn't I it? I could live here. I'd yeah, live here. Right, right here. Right here. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just walk to Sainsbury's yeah. in Carlisle. Yeah, be fine. <laughs> oh, mate, no, in all seriousness, this, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we were just saying on the way up, me and Paul doing this, you average fella, you know, we're just normal guys. Anyone can do this. Yeah, we're and not. We're not super fit. We're not no. in any way in shape, are no, we? Definitely not. You Dad know? bods galore, yeah. really. But yeah, we're just we're taking us time. We we'll give ourselves enough time. There's no rush. Just enjoy it. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, mate. Yeah. So I'll put a link to Adam's channel in the description. Um, Adam's got a really good channel. He's got some cracking videos out there, um, and he also raises awareness for men's mental health as well as mental health in 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 general so yeah go and check him out i'll put a link in the description so yeah we're going to crack on and i'll bring you back along the way so yeah we've just come up one platform further than where we were before and the sun's come out you can just see the top of the mountain covered in snow poking out there but if i spin you around towards mel break look at this now <laughs> unreal We've got a wee sheeps for company. <laughs> but look at this. Rain's gone away, so I've got my gimbal out and I'm back on the road while it's go too. So you'll be able to hear the sound quality and the and the difference between the phone and the road while it's go too. But look at this. Unbelievable. So yeah, we're just at a bit of a crossroads. I think we think we can either follow that path there or we can cut up this steep ridge up the middle there. Or we think there is an option to go around that side as well, buddy, yeah. yeah. So 
options galore. Options, yeah. We're just going to have a little bit of a decide. So yeah, we've decided to take the steep middle path, but with this sun coming out, spin you up. Look at the reflection of Mel Breck in the water. The wind's virtually non-existent now. Um, I told Adam to turn around and he was like, wow. <laughs> He's just blown his mind. So yeah, we're going up the steep bit, aren't we, mate? Oh, yeah, so we're just at the top now of that little steep section. It wasn't that long, maybe 10 minutes, but very slippery. We've still got some beautiful reflections on Crummock Water, especially of Melbury. And right in the very center of shot now, you can just see Laws Water just peeking into view. And right in the distance, you can see the wind farm in the sea and the mountains of Scotland in the far distance. We are gaining a bit of elevation, as you can see. We're getting up towards that mist layer, not far off it now, but I don't think we'll get as far as that, because just up here, I think just over that big, bouldery, rocky outcrop in the middle there, we're not going to be too far from the top. Wind must be picking up down the bottom, because we have lost the reflections in the lake. And we've just come up this next bit of a climb. It is steep, but it, it's not too bad. It is a bit slippery, so we're having to be careful. But we reckon that big outcrop in the middle of the shot there, just by that cloud, is where we're heading. And then we've just got this bit to climb up and walk over with a bit of luck. So here we are gaining more elevation now. You can see the wind farm and Scotland a lot clearer now. We are starting to lose the uh, south side of the lake view-wise and it's just a short little climb now till we hit that top. And that's us at the top. Absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Phenomenal. So yeah, me and Adam have made it to the top. We're just gonna sit here for five minutes and just take this awesome view in. Um, but while I'm sat here, I'm sat on the on the cairn. I know it's not a trig point, but uh, just sat here thinking about my man, Chris from the Height of Life. I know he loves a good trig point. And we have a little joke between ourselves. Every time he says uh, trig point or IPA, he's got a crack of beer. Um, but yeah, just sending a bit of love out to Chris. <clears throat> he's not had the best of times recently. Um, he hurt his back at work. And he's been having some family problems recently. Um, and he's not been able to get out for over four months now. And I've been in touch with Chris quite regularly. Um, and it's not going to be long before he's back out. So just to let you know that myself and Adam are thinking of you, mate, while we're up here. And um, we both can't wait to get out on a camp with you. So yeah, we're thinking of you, buddy. Yeah, me and Adam are just sat here, just taking this view in. Absolutely phenomenal. And it's 360 as well, so I'll give you a full 360. Obviously the lakes and that, and the mountains that side you've seen already, absolutely beautiful. And the snow is melting up on this top, because that was the one we were looking at before, and there was a lot more snow on it than that, but there's some lovely copper colors and burnt oranges on the mountains. And it is just a beautiful 360. Really looking forward to getting the tent set up and spending the night up here and having a good crack. Right, me and Adam have just been sat on the ledge here for, what, an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, around that. Just basically chatting away, putting the world to right. Um, but as you can see, we are starting to lose a light just a wee bit. So we've got ourselves set up. So I'm just going to take you over and run you through both of our setups that we're using for tonight. So, Adam is in the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. You can see he's got his Trekology chair set up there. He's got his silver foil mat down because he is on the uh, very comfortable but unreliable Trekology UL80. He had the same issues with his first one. 
it went down and luckily enough so far his second one is stayed is staying up um and he's in the snug pack which one is it snug pack travel pack four snug pack travel pack four sleeping bag minus 12 comfort. minus 12 comfort plenty of room inside the cloud peak too um and he's got his sea to summit meal chicken fajita with rice a few beers a bit of water jobs are good If you know, you know. Once again, I'm out in the tarp tent, Scarp 1. We haven't got much wind at the moment, but we are forecast up to 40 mile an hour gusts with rain in the morning. So I've put the cross poles on. Once again, on the climate insulated static V with the OEX Leviathan EV900. Got my water and my beers in there. OEX Solar Cook Set. I've got meatballs and pasta for tea, Wayfarer, and an all day breakfast for morning. Um, nice and simple. I've got me OEX chair and I've still got me OEX Valor 7080 rucksack to put away. But yeah, let's give you a look round now we've lost a little bit of light. Cloud is starting to hug the tops a little bit. And we are losing the light, as you can see. Sun's going down. We've probably got about an hour's worth of light, maybe, tops. Yeah, yeah about an hour. So, yeah, all set up. So, yeah, me and Adam, we're just going to get the chairs set up and have a beer and enjoy these lovely views. Um, we'll probably bring you back when it's food time, I would have thought, something like that. Right guys, so that's me and Adam back in our tent. As you can see, it is cold. It has cooled down rapidly. Um, the wind is picking up on and off and it's raining outside. Um, we just sat and put the world to rights again, just with the uh, views that we had. And I have done an Instagram live video for about an hour and a half just to try and get in touch with everyone, which was really cool. Team Valhalla, um, Adam in Wild in the tent next door to me, Daz Bewley and everyone that joined in the chat, much appreciated. It was awesome. So yeah, I've got the meatballs in pasta from Wayfarers on the go. Um, inside the tent, but I have got my ventilation well open um, just to make sure there's no gas coming inside the tent or, or fumes or anything like that. Right guys, as you can hear, the weather is taking a turn for the worst. The wind is getting up um, and it is raining. On top of that, Adam in the wild is storing like a pig. Um, like I say, I've just done a live on Instagram, so that took about an hour and a half. But I've got my food ready, and it's not one I've had before. So I went for a, just a boil in the bag tonight, just for a change, just to give me a little bit more substance. Um, it should be nice and warm, so let's give it a go. Just get it out of the water, it's literally just boiled. And it is the Wayfarers boil in the bag meatballs and pasta. I'm looking forward to this. I'm properly hungry now. Like, what time are we at now? It's not overly late, it's about five to nine. But with everything that's been going on, you know, time gets away from us. Oh. Feels nice and warm. Oh. Yeah, that wind is getting up. Lucky him in the tarp tonight. Tarp tent scarf one. We are forecast well what we were forecast 40 mile an hour winds in the morning, but before Adam went to sleep, he informed me that it's gonna be about 60 mile an hour. So it's gonna be fun packing away in the morning, but for now we'll get some food. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. The 
advantage of the um, dehydrated meals is obviously they like it to carry and you're just going to boil the water very quickly pour it in, let it soak and the disadvantage of the bowl in the bag meals is you have to boil it for like 7 to 10 minutes but although the dehydrated meals have more calories this definitely tastes and feels much more like a real meal right guys I uh, feel so much better for some food and once again as you can hear Adam snoring away in the background and the weather is getting worse so I'm going to get my head down I hopefully manage to get some decent drone footage for you and some decent photos so I'll put them in uh, between now and waking up in the morning I hope you enjoy them and we'll see you in the morning has changed it's raining heavily and as you can hear the wind <laughs> is howling it's battering the tent pretty hard <laughs> um, I haven't had much sleep 
Um, oh, yeah. This is the time I'd like to give Josh Heard a shout out. Josh is a lad from Carlisle who I work with now. Um, and he fancies coming out wild camping. Uh, yeah, mate. <laughs> this is what you've got to look forward to, pal. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, no harm being taken at the minute. So, uh, yeah, mate, looking forward to getting out of the camp with you. Ah, dear me. Right, I'm going to try and get my head down. Um, whether I'll get any more sleep or not. Uh, I don't know. I doubt it. Well, morning again, everyone. It is a quarter past one in the morning. Both myself and Adam haven't had any sleep since I spoke to you last. And the wind is picking up. I would certainly estimate by the feel and the sound of things, somewhere between 50 and 60 mile an hour gusts. The scarp's handling it pretty well, to be honest. It is buffeting around a bit. There's no rain or anything leaking in or anything like that. It's just a bit buffety, which is to be expected, to be honest. But um, Adam is in the cold peak too, um, and he's just shouted over that it isn't faring too well. So, unfortunately, it is looking like we are at the point where we may have to pack up and bail. We don't want Adam's tent to get damaged or, um, God forbid, if it does kind of fail, uh, we don't want to put Adam at, at any risk. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we don't have to, um, but we're just going to give it a few minutes um, and see what Adam thinks. Yeah, just been speaking to Adam, um, and we're going to have to call it. Adam's tent isn't faring too well. Um, like I say, the scarf is handling it. It is buffeting around a bit, but we ain't going to get any more sleep at all. So yeah, another bail camp. My second bail camp in as many weeks, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we're just going to err on the side of caution, get packed up. Um, and take our time getting back down the fell to the car safely. So, um, yeah, sorry guys. Uh, it's the last thing we really want to do is, is, is bail, but um, we're just erring on the side of caution. Well guys, that's us back at the cars. It is just gone three in the morning. Definitely, definitely the right decision to come down. That wind was only getting stronger. And even down at, uh, at car level, it's driving rain with the wind. <coughs> um, Adam's tent wasn't going to handle that. The scarf was doing really well, uh, but I wasn't going to get any more sleep. And of course, I couldn't leave him up there. So yeah, definitely the right decision. This is me in future. Um, I've just got home, what time we at? It is 20 past four. Um, and I just wanted to add a few things. Um, was pretty tired when I got back to the car park um, as I've already mentioned uh, I think <laughs> um, it was too wild for us to do any filming while we were packing up um, so I hope you all trust me by now to um, believe me when I say obviously me and Adam left no trace I took all the rubbish home with us um, the trip down the mountain was pretty treacherous in the wind and the rain and um, as well as wearing us out it was about as uncomfortable as I've ever felt on a mountain it was pretty wild um, we did sit in the cars and just uh, gathered our thoughts for half an hour before we we headed off home um, the trip home <clears throat> wasn't much better um, up and down Honister was just like a river absolutely horrendous um, driving round Derwent water there was multiple floods right across the road, um, lots of fallen debris. Driving along the 66 was just covered in water um, and as well as raining the wind was whipping the water off the road. Um, absolutely horrendous conditions to, to be driving in, some of the worst I've ever driven in. Um, so yeah, definitely the right decision to bail. Unfortunate, but um, definitely the right. So um, yeah, I'm going to go in 
and get myself a shower and jump into bed and see if I can catch up on some shoot eye. So yeah, back to me in the past to sign the video off. So yeah, it just goes to show how the conditions can change. Um, the rain was due overnight, but the wind wasn't supposed to come till morning, so it, it pays to be prepared. But it, it also goes to show as well prepared as you are, it can still go south at any time. So nevertheless, an enjoyable camp and nice to meet up with Adam again. Once again, I'll put a link to Adam's channel in the description. So if you want to go and check him out, you can do. He's a cracking lad and he creates some awesome content. So yeah, time to drive nice and slowly home. So once again, until next time, stay safe. Much love from a Cumbrian lad.